How's it going boys? Today we are playing standard. It's been a while, I know, but I really like the idea of switching it up a little bit. Uh, thank you to your wife's boyfriend because he's the one who suggested this idea that we play a little bit of standard. And you know what? I really like the idea. So when he's done with your wife, uh, tell him thanks from me, okay? And that's how we are here. And we are gonna be playing Urza, because honestly, what else you're gonna play as control? This is standard, boys. So we need to bring our best foot forward, and I'm not honestly sure which one that is at this point. So it's gonna be Urzing. Is that even a word? Whatever. And things like one with the multiverse, that's right. We're gonna have free card draw, we're gonna have big card draw, we're gonna have orders of value, and we're gonna have things like depopulation, because that's currently very actual because of the World Economic Forum, 10 out of 10. And things like Soren on each one, which is gonna be our secondary win condition, because, you know, uh, a vampire's going face is pretty decent, plus it's live gain, and then we're gonna have a lot of control. Cut down, a march. A fatal absence, negate, and go for the throat. Currently the best removal in the game, by the way. And things like Celestis, because why not? And Voidrend is specifically here because there are these degenerate things called Mono Blue Tempo players. And this sometimes actually just insta wins against them because they can't protect the Jin against this bad boy. So that's kind of the hope here, anyway. Uh, 24 lands to be specific, 3.0 average, not a big deal. Currently, my hopes are pretty relatively up until we get into the games, and then I'm playing against someone who's playing uh, mid-range aggro creatures and has a 33% land draw ratio against me, who has a 50% land draw ratio, like always in standard, and then my day is ruined. But can't wait until we get to that point. Anyway, without any further ado, let's just get cracking and see what happens. Okay, two of my four cards are playable. This this looks not good. No, mate, I mean, this looks pretty good compared to what I would expect. Oh, wait, it's Blue Tempo. I take it back. I take it back. I don't want to play against Blue Tempo. Save And he goes first. Oh, wizards! Why, why aren't you? Why are you letting blue tempo players play with everyone else? Uh, they should be literally put in a. Uh, wizards actually did used to do this a very, very long to a time ago, like two years ago. There was this thing that wizards did. It was like if you play X, you're only gonna play against uh, those X people who do the same thing as you. Now. I think they have understood that everyone dislikes Mono Blue so much that Mono Blue doesn't even play against Mono Blue. Like, you know, when you. Some people, when they see someone play Mono Blue, they just instantaneously surrender because that's just. That's just called being smart and saving time, right? Ooh, that actually worked. What the hell? Didn't expect that one. But anyway. You know, some people just save time playing against Mono Blue. Mono Blue players also. Uh, do the same thing against other mono blue players, by the way, as it turns out. When a mono blue player uh, encounters another mono blue player and they don't go first, they can see it against the mono blue player because they know it's useless to try and play against it. What a time to be alive. At least you're gonna counterspell this one, right, Chief? Holy moly! He's actually not doing it. Wow, you're the you're you're the worst mono blue play in the history of most likely ever. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like I, I like freebies like you. Oh look at that negate. That's probably gonna be painful. At least I can cast my own negate now. You think it's gonna be what 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 what? Oh, he actually can get rid of sun in that way. I guess that's worth it. I guess that's. Not worth it, as it turns out. Uh, let's see. Do this, see what happens. Nothing! He has no interaction. This is insane. I like it. <laughs> oh, baby! The payback! The absolute the payback! I love it, I love it, in fact. G seeing a mono blue player g have a bad day is like, uh, I don't know, the best thing in the universe to experience? How did Vard work again? Whenever a permanent with a Vard becomes a target or an ability... In okay, okay. Wait, actually, I don't care about that too much now, do I? Oh, uh, no. Let's do this first and see what happens. Yeah, that's pretty okay. Uh, so, if I play this... 
and I press the button, which I can't, it seems like, for some reason. Are you telling me I do not have this number of manas? How am- Wizards, how am I supposed to know that I don't have the number of manas that you want me to have? That- that's a little I think that's a little bit much, you know? I think that's a little bit much to ask for, uh, from me. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Considering we're kind of winning, and I like winning. Cold rains. <laughs> Someone, please! Save the souls of these mono blue players! Cold rain, snow. I have never been so disgusted in my life. Well, actually, I have been more disgusted in my life many, many of the times now. Oh, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so. Oh, he just concedes. Good enough! Well, not a big problem. We're gonna take it back this time, boys. I hope you are ready, because I am ready. Also, look at that! We have nine value cards. Sorin, uh, a Might Stone and Weak Stone, the Universe thing. We have nine of those cards. Our opponent had only Hollowed Haunting. He got two of them. This is what I'm talking about. And now, look at this. We're balancing out the mathematics here. And now we have Sorin and this in the opener. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! But it's actually good, it's actually good. Admittedly, our opponent has definitely things that exile stuff, so, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit need, uh, need to relax here, but it's fine. Also, hopefully, hopefully, our opponent does not play any, uh, you know, untenacious underdogs. Because, you know, that card should have been banned, like, long ago in Standard. Or, as I say, nerfed, so it costs uh, 5 HP to activate. If, I th if, if they nerfed that card to cost 5 HP to use the flashback, that would, that would, be, that would actually be legit. Ooh, hello there. Uh, should I actually do this? Wait, I can't even play my own Sorin. Yeah, I'm gonna do this out of spite. Even though currently we can't play our own Sorin, uh, still can't play our own Sorin. Ah, uh, what a time to be alive. Okay, the good part is anything he drops we can actually deal with. This just looks like Azorius Planeswalkers, and he doesn't have one white mon source, so he can't actually play that many things. Or, you know, he can just literally invoke the spit, and we can absolutely just get shwasted. Which is a completely viable solution, as one might say. Draw two cards, let's see what we get. Okay, still can't cast Sorin. By the way, 60% uh, my, 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 my pile consists of 60% black swamps, 60% islands, and 60% plains because of dual lands. I like it. I like it. Okay, he got the, he got the sauce, which is bad. Uh, what are my options here? Hmm. Yep, oh, yep. Oh, Lilian, no one cares the card. Okay, that's not even bad currently, so I guess it's fine. Depopulate is probably gonna be useful, but not really too much here. Also, I have a card advantage, right? Oh, 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 bigly, bigly. But can't cast it. Ah. Uh... Do I actually void rend? I have a feeling I should not. There's probably gonna be better things to use it on. Unless my opponent literally just uses a sick and invoke the spare on me. Which is beyond abysmally likely right now, by the way, because that's just how uh, RNG works. It's predictable, as you can. It's very predictable, in fact. So let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He sees this. And there's the second invoke the spare. Uh, it's, I know some of you think I pre-record this, but no, no, you see, you don't understand, RNG is predictable, at least when it comes to arena, because... <laughs> what? W w what Should I actually void rend the Liliana? I feel like I absolutely have literally no shot currently. 
Uh, that's the problem here. And there is a chance that he gets, like, another Invoke Despair in uh, three cards or something like that. And that chance is beyond reasonably big at this point. And we're still not drawing anything. I mean... <laughs> Dribra, I should just do uh, I should just do standard mono red. I, I heard that the mono red won uh, won, won a competition recently in Magic, so that's kind of uh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so oh no, he did nothing. The same way I'm doing nothing because you know one swamp, but you know he he's gonna play a Wanderer, I think. Oh no, even worse. Okay, well that's as expected. Man, these cards, bruh, these cards. Oh, look at that! It's... Yay! How much are we missing? Oh, by the way, now we have 66% land draw ratio. Woo, our opponent also has that, but he's just better. Okay, so, a Sodden. Nice! I like it, Chief. I like it. 10 out of 10. Are you seriously just gonna do that? I guess it's fine. I can march you, so... whatever, I guess. Oh, uh, not artifact, blah blah blah, doesn't matter. Okay, so at least we can uh, get rid of the Soren and we're surviving for a bit. He didn't choose the thing, but that's because- OH YAY! MORE STUFF! Bruh. <laughs> Can we win? Technically, no. I think at this point he's just saving the Invoke Despair. Yeah, he's most likely just gonna use wedding announcements until we just, uh, croak. Which, honestly, is completely fine for him. And there's the Wandering Empress. It, you know, it's obviously very expected. Okay, so the good part is I still have the Depopulate, which kind of works with this. Wow! That is... That is just bad usage of resources. Well, that go for the throat was also extremely bad usage of resources. Uh, but then again... Oh, look at that! We did it, boys! We did it! Only one-third of our pile in. Oh, we did it! Oh, it's a miracle! It's an absolute miracle. One a bit if I press the plus one. I'm gonna get another black land. Anyone. Anyone. Any anyone want to make that bet? Anyone? Anyone in the audience? Oh, by the way, like the video and comment down below how much you enjoyed this uh, display of absolute skill. And of skill, I mean me predicting the future, obviously, because that makes perfect sense. Well, I am the chosen one. Chosen to suffer, but, you know, still the chosen one, technically. So, let's get our black land. Come on. There we go. Again, literally a golden god, boys. I am literally. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stand up. Literally a golden god. No one can rival me in this. I am the future teller. No one. No one will ever be as good as predicting the future in Magic as I will. I know what this game does. I know everything that's about to happen. It's just—it's just that simple, okay? It's just that—that that simple. Also, how the hell did he just take five minutes to take his turn? That's like amazing. But anyway, at least that's fine. Oh, and by the way, you may ask. So, what's the? If you know that you're gonna get that off the top, what's the point of actually doing the plus one? Just to prove a point. Because the moment we're gonna get any advantage, he's just gonna invoke the spare us into oblivion. So, nothing we do technically matters still. We got the Urzi Bursi. And may wait, actually, maybe we can still do it with the Urzas. Urzazazazaz! Yes! Another land? Actually, my prediction was for the land to be on top and something useful being on bottom. But that's fine, it's 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 fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's just now watch and observe what happens now. Oh, look at that. A play. Oh, a land. Oof, oof, oof. Look at that. A plus one. Oh, 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 oh,
That's right. Everyone knows this was necessary. Create a samurai. Does he actually not know he can uh, just ditch my thing and it's fine? Huh. Interesting. Well, whatever. Uh, we still have a shot, by the way, boys. As strange as this may seem. We still have a shot. Because we're not playing against a good player, okay? The fact that this is his luck just means that this is probably one of the worst players in the history of magic. And Wizards is just doing it so, you know, good stuff happens to him, I guess. Okay, he does that. Very, very unimpressive. Again, he could have literally ditched the thing, but he chose not to. What, 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 what an absolute mad lad. And now he ditches that. What the hell? Well, he can he didn't. Okay. Uh, sorry on each one. Noise, noise, noise. Uh, do, do it, do it like this. Do it like that. Okay, what am I, uh, what am I getting rid of, though? Uh, do this. Do you think, do you think he's just gonna remove all the orders at the moment it drops? I don't know, maybe, who knows. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Anyway, yeah, it seems like Urz is meeting not the greatest of fates in the universe. Wait a minute! Why? Why? Well, it doesn't matter because he's still... Bruh, why? Okay, faithful absence. Hey, at least we got rid of something, you know? Uh, this is probably the strongest turn we're ever gonna get. <laughs> Like, this is so humble. This is so uncompatible. Okay, just invoke the spear, me, dude. Your, that invoke the spear has probably sat in your hand for, like, I don't know, ages now. Literally ages. And you and, and, and nothing's happening? Come on. C come on, Anisima. Do it. J just, just do it. Oh, no, my last card in hand this card. Is, what a time to be alive. Come on, do it. Do it! Finish me off with style! Finish me off with that Invoke Despair! You have been waiting for such a long time- Why are you saving it? I don't- I don't- I don't understand you! I completely do not understand you. Why save it? You see, nothing- he's just- he's just making fun of me at this point. Because he discarded this previously and that's happening, it's kind of insane. Well! I, I, I came in this game uh, naked, and I will leave this game looks like ass <laughs> naked. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a land. Noise. Well, at least it's use it's least it's playable. Oh boy. Come on. Come on, baby boo. Uh, yes. Cycle it, baby, one more time. Come on. And useful. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is great. This is just great. Well, I'm finally dead. Close! Close, close, close. Man, look at this. They have made that Tybalt avatar so unbelievably good. It it, it almost rivals Kior and Lilian. I'm not gonna lie. Probably third best avatar. Because this is for the losers. I said it. What you gonna do? Another one! Wait, this is the exact same opening the last mono blue dude had against us. <laughs> oh no! Is it the payback of the losers? Also, again, they start first. Stop! Stop starting first! It makes no sense. Well, Void, we have Void Ren for specially occasions like this. So, I believe in Cat on, in cat on Purple. Okay, do I want a Sorin? Nah, he's gonna waste all of his mana. There, there's no point. Uh, the, he's gonna drop the Jin because this is what everyone does. What the hell is he doing? Bruh, he just did nothing. Um, I can actually risk with the Sorin drop if I really, really want to. But I have Voidren, so I don't have to risk anything. Yeah, I have Voidren. I literally don't have to risk anything. Okay, okay, double Voidrend. I don't have to risk anything now. Double trouble. Okay, okay. 
So, when, when do you think he's gonna start doing stuff? Or maybe maybe his uh, hand is just six lands or something. I can actually do it now. If he counterspells, I'm completely fine, because I'm just gonna void rend anything he plays away. And that's gonna be the play. Plus, I wanna see how much he has. Interesting. Uh, spell pierce. Yeah, not today, chief. Are you gonna do a second one? Because if you're playing spell pierces, wow. Wow. Mama mama raised someone. Woohoo! Make this appear. Okay. So Jin now. Uh no one cares the sea serpent. Okay, that's impressive. Uh no one cares the butterfly dude. Uh very impressive still. Uh let's see, can we play No we can't. What do you mean we can't? Well, I can play this, and it's free real estate. If he does this, that means he's counterspelling. Ah, uh, he just let it slide. Okay, draw two cards. It is. Wow. Um, I almost feel bad for these people who are currently playing in <laughs> blue, because this is not looking good for them. It's like he almost needs to protect the Delver, which is pathetic. Oh my god, he does! You see, this is the problem with blue tempo. If your initial hand is not good, you, you're, you're just a non-player. You're literally just begging wizards to give you a strong opener hand with multiple gins and multiple draw cards. That, that's it. You're doing nothing else of value with your life. It's quite insane, honestly. Okay, well, he has two cards. Admittedly, I am not currently drawing any, any of my Vrads, but that's fine. We, we don't have to rush. Okay, and with this, it's not even that bad. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna avoid rent this. Doesn't re really even matter. Wait, I can pay the Vod if I feel like... I think he's gonna try and counterspell the Void Rend, though. He looks like that kind of a dude. I'm gonna pay the Vard, not because I need to, because Void Ren doesn't care about Vards, but... Oh my. Okay. Uh, that's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Um, what now? <laughs> did he just use everything he had? Yes, he did, boys. Yes, he did. And now he's officially out of sauce. That's insane. And there's the gin. Well, it took a while, but it's there. It's definitely there. Okay, so he's trying desperately to do some big lead plays. Okay, well, it's kind of understandable. Okay, let's see if we get another one. Okay, so he, uh, here's, here, here's the whatever. Decline. Still adios, amigos. And you. On that. And let's see, do I actually just want- yeah, I probably do. There's no reason to wait, right? There's literally never a reason to wait. He's probably flipping it now because it's been like- NO?! Oh my god! You see what happens when you- when you- when you don't have- oh my- oh jeez. That's dope. Really annoying. Uh, another void rend, you say? Uh, sh sure, honestly. I don't want to give him anything, so that's that's probably fine. Okay, I kind of like it. N uh, got nothing else though happening for. Oh wow. <clears throat> okay, okay. Uh, that that's that's whatever. I wonder if he's actually gonna let that slide. Uh, this thing. Cool. Uh, sh sure, I guess. Do you think he's gonna let this slide or not? Because if he doesn't, that's honestly a waste. Oh my god, that's such an unbelievable waste. Holy moly, ravioli. How is this even real? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. And there's a sorin, because of reasons. Okay, and the sorin gets minus, and... Five... 8, 10. 10 is the magic number. Or can't I not? No, I can't. Damn it. 
Why do I forget extremely obvious things? Maybe because I'm an idiot. I make I think that makes perfect sense. But anyway, now I have a lot of HP and even dropped a land for freebies. Okay, you need to understand. Your mono blue tempo. Everyone hates you, including your family. Buying a slick extremely unreasonably slick avatar doesn't mean you're gonna have a good time also gonna reveal that because oh wow that's a lot of MacGuffins oh uh, what do I do now well attack obviously I guess okay man again mono blue is just so unreasonably pathetic unless you get the perfect combination of creatures and spells well creatures are spells I guess but who cares you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, it's just unbelievable. And now I'm just gonna swing it. Oh, dude. Do you think he's... I think he's just trying to make it win, which is unbelievable. Oh, these people, man. These people. It, it's insane. In the membrane. Okay, uh, more stuff that actually does things. I kind of like it. Well, I currently don't have my win condition, so... I guess he... Oh, wait, 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 That was intended. See? Pobbit plays. Instant wins. If we ignore the fact that we're not going first for the 50 trillionth time in a row, we got the Urza and the uh, stone. Oh. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's bad. That's, that's, that's kind of bad. Well, actually, maybe not really, unless he plays a tenacious underdog. Oh, look at that! I'm in danger. Right, so... My options are dwindling at an extremely rapid pace that does not seem comforting. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, please, someone, someone, uh, end this misery. Please, someone. Okay, pump it. You're gonna pump it again, my boy. You gonna pump? You just pumping it, boys? There we go. At least he uh, used his mana for you know not a real game. But then again, he didn't lose anything doing that. So still, the loser is your boy. <laughs> uh, someone, please, wizards, why? Why haven't you nerfed this card to cost five mana, uh, five life to cost cast? It's just. It's just so easy. It's just so... It's just so unbelievably exactly the play you should be doing. But now. But but now. No, no, no. Wizard says no. Stupid, stupid, stupid wizards. Anyway, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, uh, yeah, that kind of... Ver oh, wait. doesn't. Well, we have three of these. And we have this. And he only has three cards now. Which one is a Shell Dread or Invoke Despair yet again? Oh, look at that! It's the thing that we expected. <laughs> I hate life. Why? See, my parrot's even saying why. Oh, yeah. If, if you can expect one thing w uh, that is uh, an astrological constant at this point in life, it's simply 100% the fact that at least I don't have to pay this. It's simply the fact that Invoke the Spear on Curve for Mono Black is a guaranteed. It's it's like the New Age Heliod. Remember when Heliod was always on turn three? Yeah, that that's that's literally Invoke the Spear now. Wow, we're just playing in someone who has dedicated his life to destroying us. Yay! I feel special and sad. Well, the funny part is. Probably not even the land. Yep, probably not even the land. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I can't survive, though, at the bed. Wait a minute. He's doing an oopsie doopsie. Okay, I like it. Well, it doesn't matter. He's probably gonna just uh, shelter it or invoke the spit again, so... Eh. What does it matter? Another tenacious underdog. Well, I guess... I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, he can just wait now and do whatever he pleases. So, he's just having fun with his food, for obvious reasons. I can do this, though, and technically survive. Technically. Technically, I said. Oh, boy. 
Man, you gotta love these chances. Again, the wizards. Dude, he's using Infernal Grasp. He doesn't even know what he's doing and he's still winning? Unbelievable. Again, nerf or ban Tenacious Underdog, nerf or ban this, and nerf or ban Mono Black in general. Anyway, this was Quizzer Simpson. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.